Hey guys, so I am eating. So disclaimer, if you don't wanna watch me eat, I just wanna let you guys know I am eating. It is a bagel with buffalo chicken lunch meat and some onion chive cream cheese. If you hear noise behind me, Twinkie and Rarity are actually playing right now. And I have a caffeine-free Diet Coke. So, oh boy, I just, I want to, I feel like I need to talk to someone. Becky's currently um, actually taking her mom to an appointment. Eric is sleeping. And sometimes just talking on here is so much, like, better for me because, like, I'm getting out on the open. People who are watching me understand kind of where I'm coming from, what I'm going through versus um, everyone I see on a day-to-day -day basis already knows. So, um, I had a little, okay, not really little, a big epiphany, if you will, a very big epiphany. Um, you know how there's that moment where you realize you need to change, whether it be, you know, you have a certain addiction that's, you know, bad for your health, might end your life type thing. And it takes up like one moment where you're like, I need to change. And you do. Um, my mom, for example, she wasn't sober my whole life. And some years ago, she something just hit her. And she's been sober since. I never thought I'd see the day. Ever. And I see the day now, you know. That's motivational to me, especially because it's my mom. What I'm trying to get at is... I am scared. So this is going to be a eat with me and cry with me. I'm scared. I am too big for a CAT scan. I am too big for an MRI. You know, those things are serious things. And I never thought, you know, Oh, I'm never going to have to get an MRI or a CAT scan. You can't say things like that because you never know what's going to happen or what you're going to have to do in your life. Obviously, duh. But I feel like a lot of people have the mind frame of like, oh, that's never going to happen to me. There's no way that's going to happen to me, you know? Like an MRI machine, you have to weigh less than 400 pounds. I'm pretty sure it's the same with CAT scan. Um, I remember, God, what did I go to the hospital for? It was within, you know, within the time frame of I've been with Becky. And they were thinking about doing a CAT scan on me. So embarrassing. Um, he came back and he was like, Actually, you can't fit. There's a weight limit. And I was so upset. It wasn't even embarrassing. It wasn't even embarrassing. I was so mad and upset with myself. But still, even then, it wasn't even like a pivotal moment. Ugh.
And I think it's because it wasn't that serious. I am scared. I'm scared. That's just moral of the story. Um, along with my eye convulsing, pulsating, it's not a little twitch, you guys. I am losing hearing in this ear. It feels like my ear is like stuffed or full, but it's like not. Um, and I'm starting to get like little headaches. I'm start crying. And I know it's like, <sighs> I have anxiety. I do take my anxiety medication, but that doesn't take away the fear of, I have no idea what's going on right now. And it's like, let's just say in a world, a different world than the world now, I have to like get an MRI or something. Then what? I can't fit. Oh. <sighs> Whether some of you want to believe it or not, I am in the 400s. But it's like. God, it's just, it's, it's everything. It's literally everything. <sighs> There's this. Oh, I can't even tell you how many like companies use my videos or whatever, my face, whatever it is for their like advertisements, which I don't know if there's anything I can do about it, but there's this one recently that people were sending me and I was the main girl in it. No idea what it's about. They didn't ask me, like, the story's completely fake. They just used me, my body, whatever. It was about this girl, me, who had a husband and a child. Her house caught on fire and um, she couldn't get out of her house and the ambulance couldn't even help her because she was too big. It was like this whole situation. Excuse me, I just burped, I'm sorry. And although it wasn't my story, it was just like my body and my face. It kind of like triggered in some, something inside of me where it's like, what if that happens as well? You know, this house catches a fire and I'm like passed out from, you know, the smoke or whatever. And I'm too big to be. <laughs> These are the things you need to think about when you want to lose weight. These are the things you need to think about. Not wearing cute clothing. Not looking better. These are the things. It's like I've lost a good amount of weight so far. For the average person. That's amazing. You know, you're you're down over 70 pounds. But for me, it's just like a little, a little blimp, a little tiny little blimp in the road where you have mountains to climb. And I should have started climbing my mountain a lot sooner. Crying and eating. Really though, the point of me making this is I need to do better. I need to do better. You know, in the past where I would start counting calories or whatever. Sorry, I'm sitting in front of the window and it just feels better to look out there, I think. <laughs> so, I do apologize. It just looks so peaceful. It is gloomy, but it looks nice. 
There's like birds chirping. Anyways, um, sorry. It's like in the past where I started a new weight loss journey and I was gonna start counting calories. It was kind of like this high I would get where I was super excited to do this, super excited to count calories. Did I want to? Mm, not really, <laughs> but I was like excited, like this high, I was about to do something different. But then in a couple days I would do Weight Watchers. And then in a couple days I'd do intuitive eating and then I'd go back to calories. Like it was such this like mountain of like a roller coaster, like up and down, up and down, up and down, different choices, different paths. Like I never stuck to one thing because I'd get bored within a day and then I'd move on to something new. And all I was doing was gaining weight or staying the same, gaining weight or staying the same. And it was stupid. It was so stupid. Oh, there's a gorgeous red bird out there. Wow. Like the whole thing is completely red. All the other ones are black. What the heck? That bird is like beautiful. Something you'd see in the jungle. <laughs> I've never seen that bird before. Um, so... As you guys know, I've been doing, I hope I finished my last thought because someone pointed out in my pizza video, uh, they messaged me and they were like, you didn't finish your thought on something. I forgot what it was. So I apologize if that happens. Um, but what I was saying is like, I've lost over 70 pounds by doing intuitive eating. And by doing that, you know, it definitely gave me a wide range of options, um, for sure. I didn't feel as restricted. I felt like it, it was honestly a lazier way of losing weight because I didn't have to measure. I didn't have to weigh things. I didn't really have to think about stuff like that. Um, and I think that's the biggest part, the biggest reason why I enjoy doing it like that is because I don't have to like sit there and constantly like measure and weigh and because I hate doing it. But I've realized that intuitive eating, I'm not losing weight as fast as I should. Yes, I've lost over 70 pounds since October 8th, but... It's just not good enough. I mean, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Some months I do better than others. Some weeks I do better than others. I mean, it goes down to like the hour. Some hours I do better than others. Whether it be mentally or the choices that I make. It doesn't even matter. I don't think I have ever truly felt it's like how do I explain it you you lose weight and I keep saying it's because I knew I know I needed it I find it finally like clicked in my head which obviously it did but it's like it takes something more big more powerful to push someone like me, because I don't want to speak for other people, to push someone like me to finally truly do something without the lazy ins and the outs and the making excuses for certain things you eat and the way that you do things. And I feel like something really has to happen. And for me, it's MRI machines and CAT scans and what if this house caught on fire 
you know, I'm not just 200 pounds and I need to lose a little bit of weight. <sighs> Sometimes I like to think that. I like to be delusional for a minute because it's just so hard to constantly think about what's right in front of me, the truth. <sighs> but I think that's what kept me so big for so long is that you know anyways <laughs> my point is I need to do better I need to do better than intuitive eating I need to lose weight a little faster and You know, I'm like shaking. I don't know why. A lot of people are like, oh my god, so dramatic troll. I wish this was a troll. I wish I was trolling. I wish I really didn't feel these this way. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> It's just, um, I need to do bigger. I need to do better. I, for the first time ever, in this very moment, I really think that I do love myself. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't want this so bad. <laughs> I hated myself for so long, you guys. truly love yourself This is not getting monetized. <laughs> I don't care. I just want, like, I just need this to, like, oh, God. I'm just thinking about the reaction channels, you know? Why do you want to react to this? I just don't understand it. I don't think I ever will. Reacting to someone's downfall. I just don't understand it. It'd be different if like something phenomenal happened. <laughs> React to that, but it's just like... Reacting to someone crying or eating. What is it? What's the point? But I need to do better because intuitive eating is not it. Because I need to do better. So I'm saying this out of like because I know I need to do it kind of like you know, if you broke your leg, you have to get a cast. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You can't just let it, whatever. If you're at work 
and you get your finger cut off, you have to go to the hospital and get that taken care of. You can't just let it, whatever. Those are probably bad examples. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, or you get mud on your shirt and the whole thing is muddy. What, you just didn't keep wearing that for the rest of your life? No, you got to clean it. It's kind of like that, you know? I have to do the thing that makes the most sense. And like I explained earlier, this is not out of like, ooh, the next best thing. I'm so excited to change something different like how I've always been. This is because I have to. I have to count calories. I have to measure what I eat. And I always say, I'm going to measure, I'm going to da da da, but I never did. I never did. I always told myself I was going to, but I never did. Excuse me. But I did today. I measured the 31 grams of cream cheese. I measured the, um, I forget how many grams of the meat. I can't remember off the top of my head. I put it all into my fitness pal. I need the support because I'm so scared and I love myself. I fucking love myself. Wow. That's crazy. You would not want something this bad if you didn't. God. Oh. I just. Wow. Yes, you guys are not my therapists. Nothing like that. But. You guys have no idea how therapeutic it is to talk on camera. You have no idea. At all. Unless you do YouTube and you've done it yourself. It is such a good feeling to just get it. I mean, it's a good feeling, but it also hurts to just get it all out. Oh, God, I'm a mess. Um, but I need the support, please, and the positive thoughts and just the good vibes. If you guys pray, pray, you know, everything like that. Because I need it. Um, and if you guys want to add me on my fitness pal, you can. I'm pretty sure it's linked in the description box. If it's not, whoops, I'll make sure to link it or yeah, link it. Um, I do have a lot of friend requests on there. I think about 800. So I'm trying to go through them because how my fitness pal does it is they show you the oldest first so I'm just I'm gonna try to go through those and then when I notice what I like to do because you can only have a thousand friends on there at once which eh, um I wish I could have more obviously so what I do is once I reach that limit I go to my friends list and then you can click um last active or whatever and it'll show next to the name how long they've not been on so I'll usually delete the people who haven't been on in like a week or more just so I can recycle that sounds so bad I just think it's fair since I can only have a thousand friends that I delete the people who you know aren't going on and keep the people who do go on I know that sounds so bad. Like, more than anything, I wish I could um, have, you know, everyone as friends, whether they're active or they're not. Because I know some people don't go on there for months or weeks and then they come back on, which literally is me. So, oh, we, I'm, I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> I'm going to be doing 1,500 calories um, because I feel like at that rate... I'll be able to lose weight. I was going to say be satisfied, but right now I don't think so. 
because the food that I have now, which I just did Kroger pickup, I did it, it was probably three days ago, and I've been buying enough groceries that'll last like three weeks, and it was $400, so I am not trying to waste that. <laughs> So I'm going to be eating the food that I have now, which is fine, you know, calories in, calories out. But next grocery shop, which I have the Kroger app, so I'm constantly, you know, putting things in there just so the cart is ready. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go through there. I'm going to delete some of the things that I don't think that I want in my body right now. And then I'm going to add, you know, healthier things, obviously, because I feel like with such low amount of calories, you need your, you know, your vitamins and your nutrients. And I feel like, obviously, I'm going to need healthier foods to reach that and to, you know, be healthy. <laughs> um, so it's probably going to be a lot of like broccoli, brown rice and like chicken, ground turkey, which I don't mind. I'm very simplistic most of the time. You know, add some salsa, add some hot sauce, and maybe even some soy sauce if you're trying to go for like an Asian um, flair. I'm pretty sure that's Asian. I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, Rarity's playing with a toy. She's so cute. Hold on. Um, I forgot that I was even eating. Like I completely stopped eating because I'm just so distraught. But I already have all my calories down for that. Um, hearing that makes me feel better. Hearing rarity. So sweet. So. Um, I'm definitely going to do some what I ate today videos with you know, calories listed. That'll be fun. <laughs> oh, I said that, that's funny. Um, I sounded like, literally like, it's not gonna be fun, but it will be fun. I do like, I do enjoy doing what I ate today videos. Um, <sighs> deep breaths, oh my God. A part of me wants to edit out all the crying, which I usually do. You guys do see me cry, but I usually edit out some of it. But a part of me does not want to edit this because I don't want to watch it back right now. So, I kind of want to watch it back a long time from now, <laughs> you know? I also want to say I don't think I'm going to do monthly weigh-ins anymore. I think I'm going to show you guys my weight more than that. Because I do have a lot of people requesting like a lot of weigh-ins and I do weigh myself daily. So I was thinking about maybe showing my weight daily or every three days, once a week. I don't know. Like everyone does things differently. I know a lot of people like don't weigh yourself daily, but then a lot of people are like, yes, that's what works for me. So I think it just depends on the person for sure, you know. So just let me know what you guys want me to do. I'm probably not going to read the comments, actually. <laughs> Ugh. Because I just, I don't have the mind frame. It's just like when you're so vulnerable and then you go to the comments and people are just like, Bleh. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um, It's kind of cold in here. I'm currently in the den, obviously. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish eating and then I'm going to set alarm on my phone and clean. I really enjoy doing that. Um, if you guys ever feel like overwhelmed to clean or like you don't want to do it, just set yourself a time, whether it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, if you're really wanting to get it in an hour, <laughs> it's up to you. Just set that on your phone, play some music and just clean until the alarm goes off. And then when the alarm goes off, you're done for the day. It works for me. I enjoy it. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm going to go clean because that's also therapeutic. So I'm trying to find things that will take my mind off of what's affecting me.
right in this moment. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.